Boy, the damage done by that tornado outbreak Friday across several states in the Midwest is just, it's really hard to comprehend. Oh, it is. A lot of people are asking, what caused such a severe destructive storm system in December? Oklahoma weather expert David Payne is in the Bob Mills Weather Center with the answer for us. David, we're used to snowstorms this time of year. Right, and last year, that's what we were getting at this time. And last year, it was also a La Nina. So here's the deal. We've been showing this this map a lot the last what six weeks nearly two months now the cold air with the jet stream has been well to the north of us it is still up here that cold air is still there this cold air not this season not yet has made a big run deep into the u.s so the gulf of mexico is basically untouched the air and the water temperatures are very warm in the gulf and that's our fuel source for severe weather but we haven't had any arctic air or polar air to penetrate basically the U.S., but the cold air still building there. All right, so we're talking about a La Nina, and during a normal La Nina, the polar jet is coming out of Canada into the northern states. Also, the southern branch of the jet stream is strong across the U.S., but we haven't had any cold air. Again, we're getting warm, moist air from the Gulf. That's all coming north, and that will interact with a jet stream. You get a jet stream in any kind of environment where you have instability and moisture. This is a setup last Friday night, and we had that severe weather outbreak, again, in Arkansas, right along the jet, off to our east. And folks, check this out. This is real data. La Nina, La Nina during those years, like this year, and tornadoes during winter. That's where we are right now. Look at there. Since 1950, look where the event took place the other night. Right there, right where it should have. That is normal during a La Nina year or winter, right?